when should I replace my retaining wall and when should I repair my retaining wall? Everyone, welcome to another episode of Foundation Repair, You Ask, We Answer. Today's question is, when should I replace my retaining wall and when should I repair my retaining wall? Yeah, thank you. And it really comes down to how damaged it is and how bad it really looks. If there is a little bit of lean and you do not care about the physical appearance, what we can do is put two things in called helical tiebacks. They essentially are big screws that screw sideways into the earth. We put a steel band between them and we can use that to reinforce and help support your retaining wall. Obviously, if it's too far gone, that's not an option. Now, if you want it out by your pool and it has to look beautiful, maybe uh, replacing is the route to go. Yeah, thanks Garrett. And that's ultimately what it comes down to. If uh, helical tiebacks or any sort of tiebacks isn't gonna really pull your wall back and straighten your wall out unless you dig back behind it and add a bunch of other steps and money and costs associated with it. And by that time, if you're already doing that, you might as well just rebuild the retaining wall itself. So if you're fine, like Garrett said, with a little bit of lean and as long as it's anchored and not gonna be moving, then helical tiebacks are gonna be the way to go. Again, if it's an aesthetic thing, like Garrett was saying, by a pool or something that people are gonna see and judge you on, then it may be something that you want to just get, pull it out, remove it, replace it, and start over from new. Thanks, Brian. Yep, thank you, Garrett, and thank you all for joining us with another episode of You Ask. And We Answer.